Hey guys, it's been quite a while since I posted pretty much anything on YouTube and uh, I've just been dealing with a whole lot of stuff including a whole bunch of burnout from YouTube and so anyways we're gonna get back into the swing of things and I'm really excited about spooky season. Let's, let's swing around over here. There we go. That's a bit better. To switch hands for the camera. It's been that long. I can't even hold a camera up anymore. Anyways, we are going to have some fun for spooky season. I've got a lot of really good videos planned. Um, and I have a whole lot of other stuff going on. So uh, my partner, Sage Noir, is an artist. He's awesome. And he and I have collaborated in doing a t-shirt together. So I'm going to pop it up on the screen. It is available for pre-order now uh, through to... Uh, September 25th, so you've only got about two weeks to get this t-shirt. Um, it is a limited edition. You pre-order it, and it will be sent out the first week of October. If you miss that, I'm sorry you've missed the t-shirt. So if you like it, I'm going to have links in both the description and the first pinned comment. Um, again, you know, sorry for being so taking so long between posts, but let's get into the video. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Morgan Thorne. I'm a BDSM educator. I teach here on YouTube and in real life. I have a couple of books out, teach classes, all kinds of stuff. If you want to learn more about me, it will be in the description box below. Today we are going to be talking about a surprisingly controversial subject, which is TNG or the next generation. It is, if you're not familiar, it is a group, um, like an organization that many, many cities have. Um, they are all sort of independent of each other. And it's for younger people. It's for people 18 to 35 or 19 or 21, sort of depending on your area. Some of them cut off at 30. But basically, it is a group for young kinksters to get together and uh, explore go to munches, go to classes, do that kind of stuff, and uh, so they can be with their peers. So we're going to talk about what TNG is, a brief history of TNG, all that kind of stuff, and why it's not ageist, okay? And this is really important because it is, like I said, surprisingly, horrifyingly, controversial. Um, and I am coming at this from the perspective of somebody who aged out of TNG a while ago. <laughs> um, I, I cannot be a part of this organization anymore, and that is okay. I, I am glad that it exists for the people that it does, and I accept that I am not one of those people anymore. And that's not a problem. So let's get into it. We're going to talk about it. So as I said, TNG stands for the next generation. It is for kinky people, um, generally 18, some places 19, some places 21. Uh, it really depends. Um, and the reason of that, for that discrepancy is that a lot of places uh, hold their events at, at bars or other um, drinking establishments. So it will sometimes go based on the drinking age. Um, or sometimes, for whatever legal reasons, it's just easier to have, you know, a different cutoff point. So, uh, in some places it's 18 because you're legally an adult at 18. In some places it's 19 because, for instance, here in Canada, 19 is the drinking age. Or it could be 21 in the States. 21 is the drinking age, so it may be in some places. 21 there. Um, and then you have a cutoff point. Usually it's about 35 some places have a cutoff of 30. So basically, that's when you've aged out of the group. And, um, you know, it's time for you to get out and uh, let some of the new young people in. And, and I will be honest with you, too. By the time I was getting into my 30s, I was looking at some of the TNGers and being like, wow, they seem really, really young. And I found just sort of naturally that... I felt more comfortable in a regular munch where it's people of all ages, right? So just because you're a TNG age, you doesn't mean you can't go to a regular munch. Absolutely, you can. But I just found that I started to feel more comfortable at those munches rather than uh, some of the munches with young people. Um, and a lot of people feel the same way. Now, that's not to say that I don't try to go to the anniversary 
every year that I'm able to, where they allow all of us, even the olds, to come and hang out and, um, you know, enjoy uh, reliving our youth, I suppose. But um, on the anniversary, a lot of groups will allow for you to go and uh, uh, attend once a year just for nostalgia's sake. Uh, some uh, TNG groups will also allow uh, older partners of TNG aged people to attend. Um, I have been to some TNG groups uh, when I've been past 35 because my partner is under 35. Um, I do, just for the record, have an age gap relationship, although I, it seems silly to call it that. Um, but there is 12 years age difference between me and my partner. Um, but so sometimes I will go to a TNG with him. Um, and again, you know, it's it really depends. Some will allow that, some do not allow that. Um, and of course, it's really important to respect those rules, right? I shouldn't go and be like, of course, hello, hello, young people. I'm here to have fun with you. Like, it's, it's just not cool, right? I, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm younger than I am. And and you should not do that to, to get into a group where it's already been stated that you're not welcome. It's, it's creepy as fuck, first of all. Uh, and like people have set a boundary. They've said, if you're over this age, we would rather not see you here. And you're saying your boundaries don't matter to me. I'm going to go anyways, right? So what does that tell people about you? It tells them that you're not going to respect any of their boundaries because you can't even respect a simple like age restriction. What does a TNG group do? Well, generally speaking, most of them will hold a munch. That is usually how they got started. It was just like a munch for younger folks. For those of you who don't know what a munch is, it is simply a gathering of kinky people in a vanilla setting. So you would go to a pub or a restaurant or a coffee shop or whatever and just kind of hang out. And it's not a kink specific event, okay? Like we don't do kinky stuff. We don't get dressed up in leather. We don't wear you know, spiked collars and whatever else that we might wear, latex we might wear to the party, it's not welcome at a munch. It is just a, um, you know, a, a very vanilla gathering, so a not kinky gathering. We just don't happen to be kinky. Um, if you went to a place and saw a munch happening, you would have no idea that these people are kinky. It would be like if a sewing group or a knitting group got together or, uh, you know, a comic book group or, uh, you know, people into LARPing or whatever. It doesn't matter. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference, actually. You'd probably very easily confuse it with a comic or, or LARPing group because apparently everyone in the kink scene is a big fucking geek. Um, I love it. I'm not saying that in a negative way. I absolutely love it and I have done my fair share of LARPing, but there's a lot of crossover. So if you're worried that you're too geeky for the kink scene, there is no such thing. All right, um, some TNG groups will also do play parties or educational events uh, and things like that. Basically, they provide a safe space for younger people to meet, to socialize, and to be with their peers. Um, and that, I think, is really important. It's just like how women's spaces are really important so that women can get together and talk to each other, how queer spaces are really important so that queer people can hang out together and, um, you know, not have to worry about anybody else um, or, or spaces that are for people of color specifically so that they don't have to worry about um, all the bullshit that they normally have to deal with, um, you know, and, and it's just any marginalized group, not that young people are necessarily a marginalized group, but any group that is sort of in the minority, it's important for them to have a space that's just theirs. Um, and the kink scene does tend to skew a little to the older side um, because uh, generally when you're young, there's a lot on your plate. You know, you got school, you got jobs, you got establishing yourself, all of that kind of stuff. And people don't often come out to the uh, more established kink scene until they're a little bit older. Um, and so, and, and then often like we, we see there's a bit of a, a lull in the middle where people, um, a lot of people will leave because they're starting families and that sort of thing. And then they come back once, once the kids are grown and leaving the nest. So let's talk about the history of TNG. 
The very first TNG group was founded in 1999, and it started as a bit of like a half joke, half serious, and it was uh, called the Gen X Syndicate. Okay, because those of us who are Gen Xers, we used to be young at one point. And it was a group of friends in uh, the TES, um, and I'm going to put the name of it on the screen here because I, I can never never pronounce it even when I look it up and I did and I just can't pronounce it. So TES in New York City. So what started as kind of a joking uh, thread became a little more serious uh, and it progressed to a panel discussion called Gen X in the Scene at the Black Rose in 1998 which is a group and event in DC. The four founding members uh, are Kiri and Shelley, and I'm very sorry if I'm mispronouncing anybody's names. They're from Black Rose, and then um, Philip Wolf, aka Boy Meat, and uh, Josh Hightower, who's from TES. So, um, Kiri and Shelley at the Black Rose uh, managed to beat out the guys at TES, and they held the very first meeting of a TNG group a couple of months after that panel discussion. And of course, not to be outdone, the guys at TES that were part of this original idea that helped come up with it also held a group, a TNG group meeting, not too long after that. And then something really cool happened, right? Other cities started catching on to this idea. They started having their own TNG events. They would hear about it because, I mean, the kink scene, even if we live in, in different countries or live very far apart, we, we talk to each other, you know, at, at that time, that life didn't exist. Um, but there was a lot of other things, you know, we had um, the bulletin boards and things like that, uh, that we all sort of chatted on and, and got to know each other through. And so other cities started holding their own TNG events. So we would see one of them in Boston and Arizona and Chicago and Philadelphia, Hampton Roads, Virginia, all kinds of different places. Um, and I think that was really amazing. I, I just, I, I think that it's so cool that this idea that started with like a small group of friends and kind of as a joke ended up becoming this huge thing that, that still exists. Like how cool is that, that these guys, this is more than 20 years ago now, you know, came up with this, this idea and now it's still happening and it's all over the world. So, um, we're going to get into some of the controversy here because, of course, from the start, older people took issue with TNG because, of course, they did, right? Like, there's just no, no world in which that is not going to happen. Um, so TNG was meant to be, and, and I think that most of the groups, or at least any of the ones that I've come in contact with, really are successful in this, but they want to be a gateway for the larger BDSM community. So sort of like a place where you can get your toe, you can just dip your toes in the pool. You can uh, experiment a little bit and you can start to feel safe and you can start to feel part of the greater community. And, you know, quite often what will happen is people will go to a couple of TNG meetings and then they'll want to go to some other groups and they'll continue going to TNG, but they'll also be a regular at these other munches and other groups. And it's just a bit more of a comfortable way to get started. To just get, like I said, get your foot in the door, get your toes in the pool, whatever expression you want to use. But it, it's just a good way to get started. And then you can explore the rest of the kink scene if you choose. Um, so, you know, it was a place uh, for younger people to feel safe and to explore, but also the intention right from the start was that they would also become a part of the bigger community, um, just like other specialist groups, right? So like I was mentioning earlier, you know, if you have a group for queer people, it doesn't mean that you can only go to that group and never go to a, a pansexual or a straight group or anything like that. You can go to other groups. You can be a part of more than one group. It's totally fine. So we can do all of that. And and that's, again, what the, the original aim of TNG was. So... 
uh, this is all of this is taken from um, uh, histories and that that the various founding members have written. Um, and so their intentions right from the start, uh, they said that TNG is not necessarily to keep people out um, or to keep like the creepy people out because creepy people come in all ages. Right. And all genders and everything. Right. You, you, you don't like suddenly become a creep when you hit 50. You, you've probably been a creep all your life um, if you're a creep at 50, right? So it's not, and a lot of people will be like, oh, it's so that the olds don't hit on the young people and blah, blah, blah. And I mean, like, that's a nice, uh, you know, side effect at that particular event. But if somebody's going to hit on young people, they're going to do it uh, outside of, of that event, you know? So it happens sometimes. Um, you know, and, and you handle it in, in a way that is appropriate for you, um, if and when it happens. But uh, it's not, they, that wasn't the point of TNG, to keep people safe from that kind of stuff. Because again, creepy people are creepy at all ages, not just once they age out of TNG. Um, it was not meant to be just for newbies, right? It was great for beginners, but also supposed to be supportive for more experienced people. And like I said, just because you're 25 doesn't mean you don't already have a couple of years experience, right? I certainly did at 25, um, you know, but then somebody at 50 or 60 or 70, I've had people walk in and be completely brand new to the scene at like 70 and, and over, you know, they, they don't know, but they wanted to do this their entire lives. And this is the first chance they've gotten, you know, and, and so new, you can be new at any age and you can be experienced. I mean, I would doubt somebody who said they were 18 and had 10 years of experience. That is, <sighs> yeah, but if somebody is 25 and has five years experience, yeah, absolutely. I would believe that. So, and, and, and also like how many years of experience you have doesn't really matter all that much. It depends on what you have the experience in, how much you are uh, participating, things like that, right? If I do BDSM once a year, every year for 20 years, am I more experienced or less experienced than somebody does it every week uh, for five years, right? I think you guys know the answer there. Anyways, it wasn't intended to be just for newbies. It's good for beginners, for more experienced people, and everyone in between. Um, it's not meant to be ageist. It's simply, uh, you know, again, creating a space for young people. It puts no restrictions. People who attend TNG are perfectly allowed to talk to anybody of any age. They are welcome to go to other groups as well. They're welcome to play with whomever they choose. They can do what they like. There's no restrictions there. It's just that at this one particular meeting, okay, that's where we have an age restriction. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I think that spaces um, where, you know, people can just be together with other people like them are good and important. Uh, it's just meant to be a space for younger people. So, like I said, some people have complained about it. You will, if you go on Fat Life or any other forum where they talk about TNG and BDSM and stuff like that, you will, of course, find people ranting and raving about how stupid these young people are and how they're not respecting their elders and they're not going to learn anything about BDSM because they need to listen to all of us olds, damn it. And it's, it's funny, if you ask me. Um... You know, I, I find it hilarious. I do, because it's so fucking clueless and way to prove the point that they don't want to be around you. Um, so, yeah, to me, somebody who's aged out of TNG genuinely complaining about it is a big red flag. Now, if they're just complaining that they can't go and hang out anymore because they miss their friends, I think that's a totally legitimate complaint. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, we can see our friends at mm. other events, right? Um, I have friends that, that are, you know, of all ages from, from 20 up into 80, 90, even. I mean, I think I think I actually do have some friends that are, are they're not quite 90, but they're pushing it. Uh, <laughs> so, 
in the kink world, you'll find that you will create bonds with all kinds of different people. And it's awesome. But just keep in mind that if you are kind of nervous about things and you want to go and you are a young person, I absolutely, absolutely recommend trying out the TNG group first. Um, I think that it's an amazing way for young people to just get started in the community. Um, and I really do wish that it had been around um, in my area when I was that age. Um, you know, so uh, 1999, when it's like, you know, officially started, I, um, I was still young. You know, I was probably around the same age as the people that started the TNG group. And I just, like I said, I think it's a brilliant idea. And I wish, wish I had come up with that. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, let me know. Have you gone out to your local TNG group? Have you aged out of your local TNG group? Um, what do you think about TNG? Basically, like, let me know in the comments. And um, if you are somebody that is already in the... Uh, community and you did get your start through a TNG group. So please let us know what your experiences have been because I'm sure there's a lot of people watching who are nervous AF, who want to come out and join the community, but they're just not ready to take that first step. And when you guys tell stories, and it's not just me, but it's all of you saying, hey, I get it. I was scared. I was nervous. And I went and it was awesome and people were cool and blah 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 it, it it really helps people i found so if that was your experience please uh you know let us know and if you had a bad experience that's okay to talk about as well by all means not every experience is going to be a good one let me know what your experience with tng is in the comments thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe all of the things push the buttons do the things, and I will see you guys in the next video.